And here with Jordan Harvey of the victorious Independence Patriots. Jordan, it was not easy tonight, uh, yes, but uh, Coach Lilly said he told addressed the team. He said uh, defense won this game. You're the main defend. You're the main defensive player. You're kind of like the attic kids into the defense. For, you know, I you, wish you, I was you, like you, that, man. <laughs> um, Talk about the defense and the performance tonight. You know, they had to go down, they score early. Yeah. You keep them off, even though they control the position, like you probably, you kept them off the court. Off the court. Yeah, well, I mean, the biggest thing for us tonight was don't panic. As, as you've been to a lot of the games, I mean, I don't think we've scored less than 47 points and have an opponent, uh, we beat an opponent by at least 30 every game. So the biggest thing for us was to not panic, and if they score first, we just need to keep it going. Uh, they did a really good job controlling the clock, especially running wing T and I for him. But uh, I think our defense really stepped up, especially in the second half with the uh, fumbles, uh, getting getting down there on kickoff. Cyrus getting that interception down there off the tip pass, that was huge and getting us in good field position for Atticus to score. I mean, everyone all around. Um, I think Brady Grimmett really had probably the best game on defense. I mean, he was gobbling up holes. I mean, the stats may not show with the tackles and the sacks, but his impact has felt bigger than what the box score says. How big was it? They're, they got a first, I think it was first and goal at the one of the, the, one of the two yard line. One yard line. Now, yeah, the one, they're at the one yard line. They get a motion penalty, and then I think there's a, a hold penalty on the next play. How big was it to get out of that series not giving up any? I mean, that was huge. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think we kind of got bailed out a little bit right there with the penalties. I mean, they were penalties, but uh, I'm – you know, they're they're a very strong team. They may not look like their offensive linemen are the biggest guys in the world, but they're tough guys. They sit there, they get after it all the time. So uh, that was huge for us with the penalties. And I got a, I forced a strip sack right after that too to get the ball back. And I thought it went out of bounds, but it was a huge play. Uh, what'd you say, sir? Who, who recovered it? Uh, Logan Isom, I'm pretty sure. So Logan, Logan Isom gets that recovery. Yeah, I think four takeaways tonight. Yeah. General, that, that – it's pretty much what you guys do on, on defense, turn people over. Have you been in a, play, a game where you had to be on the field so much in the second half and, and you come out and you're still winning by, what, 16, uh, 14 points tonight? I mean, you were on the field most of the second yeah. half. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, a lot of people, they really think we haven't played much in the third and fourth quarter, but there's been games, uh, Shady in the playoff game we did, Shady, we played all to halfway through the fourth quarter when we played in the regular season, Midland Trail, Summers County. So there's been games, but we just aren't in the entire game. But the, I mean, you're right with that. We probably weren't in the best shape, especially because most of the time we're getting subbed out in the second half and letting in our second stringers, but they're getting valuable experiences. So we really got to take that with a grain of salt, but this just shows us how big of a test this is, trying to get to Wheeling and trying to win a state championship especially with Bluefield up here next week that we played in that scrimmage. Uh, we know what to expect. It's going to be a big game. How for... much did you get from that scrimmage with him? Did that do anything for you? Uh, a lot. I mean, two good teams going at it. Both scored three touchdowns. I mean, it was – I think it was more of a defensive game, honestly. Um, down in distance, uh, I could go either way. I mean, because both of us have big play offenses. But – uh, I don't know what will happen after this because I feel like some teams, after seeing this, might try to uh, run pass the clock. Them. Yeah, I think. Or pass the ball. Yeah. Were you yeah. surprised they were able to oh, yeah. pass as well as they did? Yeah, especially after watching on film. I mean, Nicholas County had a 54 plays. I think they ran the ball 51 times. I saw in the Register Herald. So uh, we definitely were not expecting as much passing from them. But they did a good job catching us off guard. Uh, I think one thing we did really poorly in that first half was formations and adjusting to the formations. We did a really poor job with that, but we cleaned it up in the second half and it got us back in the game. Talk about Addicts Goodson's play. You know, he gets a lot of credit and rightfully so for his running. Um, he made him a Kennedy Award candidate. Uh, but his defensive play there on fourth down that allowed you to get the ball back right ahead of the price uh, the pass from Phelan to Judah Price for the uh, go ahead touchdown. Talk about his defensive play there. Uh, it was well, he hadn't played a lot of defense all year, yeah. has he? Um, he was against Liberty, but we have guys like Scott Kester and Colt Curran in there. But um, you know we needed a little bit more beef off the edges because they were killing us off tackle. So we put in Logan and Atticus, who were our original starting linebackers. But those two do a really good job. It's just we needed uh, more beef on that. And Atticus made a really great play off the shed. We all filled our gaps. It was like fourth and two, huge play. Um, they had a really good drive going up to that point. So he made a really huge play, and then I think he proceeded to score a touchdown about two or three plays later. So 
he he was huge for us this game, uh, and rightfully so. Him and Logan Phelan, they pretty much did our offense a lot of good. Oh, you were you were you had a couple of. Uh... You'll have a cut, little couple of scores. You're wearing the blood score there on on your yeah. face. Um, was it that physical a game? I mean. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you know, coach told us coming in this it's going to be blood and gut trench warfare. It's going to start on the offensive and defensive line with the linebackers. So we all knew what to expect coming into here. Uh, they jumped on us at first though. They did a really good job. We got the first score in, and um, you know we we had a couple pen penalties that messed us up. Uh, I think two touchdowns got called back in the first half, and I think one got called back in the second half. So penalties messed us up right there, and that's one thing we really need to work on is the penalties. But I think all together is really proud of this team facing this adversity, coming out here in the second half after being down and not panicking and having the results we all want to come in. The tortoise and the hare, they wanted to be the tortoise that makes you guys the hare. Did, did the hare finally get his revenge I think for losing to the tortoise? I think they finally <laughs> did. But uh, right, rightfully so to them, they played really well. I mean, I think everyone saw that after watching the Nicholas County game. They're a really good football team, and yeah. rightfully so. They do a really good job controlling the clock. I think that's their best part of their offense. But I think we forced them after going up two scores to go to spread, and that's not what they wanted to do and pass the ball. So we did a really good job with that. But don't – uh, don't beat around the bush or anything. They were a really good team. They did a really great job tonight. Okay, and so did the Independence defense and, <laughs> and you, uh, Jordan. I appreciate the time, man. Right, Thanks a lot. It.